Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to get rid of the shortcut label when creating a shortcut in Windows. So if you make a lot of shortcuts, you might not want the word shortcut placed after it because then you're going to have to go ahead and rename it and take off the word if you don't want it on there. So for an example here, let's say I want to make a shortcut for 7-zip here. I could right drag it to the desktop, create shortcut here, and you can see it has the word shortcut after it. Then you have to go ahead and change it. And if we were to do a new shortcut, browse to the location, let's find the same thing here. This way you could create your own name where you don't have to worry about the word shortcut. So this is fine because even if we click on finish and leave the default, it doesn't put the word shortcut because I believe in Windows 10 it would still add the word shortcut, but Windows 11 doesn't seem to do that. So if you want to just get rid of it altogether or even add your own custom word, you could do so with a simple registry edit. Let's get rid of this here. All right, let's open the registry editor. Reg edit. Okay, so I got my little cheat sheet here. We're going to have to browse to this location, so you could just copy and paste this text, which I'll put in the description. All right, so in this Explorer key here, we want to make a new key called Naming Templates, capital N, capital T, no space, has to be exact. You can just right click on Explorer, new key, copy it in there. All right, so now we're on this key here. So now within this key, we want to make a new string value called Shortcut Name Template. So we're in naming templates, the new key. We want to right click anywhere in a blank spot here. New string value. Paste that in there. Okay, so now we want to double click this new string value and change its value to this text here with the quotes. And that's all you have to do. No need to reboot or restart Windows Explorer. So now let's try it again here. Drag this out, create shortcut, and I can see it just has the name of the file itself. And if you want to add something else, you could do something like this, for example. If you put your text within some, some brackets there. So let's go back to the registry editor, double click this. So we'll just keep the word optional text just for demonstration. Just like that. So if you want to add your own custom shortcut, uh, instead of the word shortcut, you could do that as well. And then if you want to revert everything back, just go back to this naming templates key, right click on it, delete it. Now if we do it again here, we're back to the word shortcut. All right, so like I said, I'll put all of this in the description and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.